or or the corn guys I, I, <laughs> dude it was like that before we made the record and i used to like literally pray that those guys like one of them wouldn't die you know i i was just like oh god i was so terrified for their lives i, I don't know why like it was freaking me out <laughs> really yeah <laughs> <laughs> was it just a feeling or maybe maybe kind of like, like it it was it was so like for me it was I would consider myself a another band member and that's all I did for like two and a half years before the record and um just that one band and every practice every you know every show you know everything and there was this thing where I, when it was starting to get confusing and people were like, like on them wanting and needing and, you know, friends and, you know, whoever was around them. And um, I went, whoo, backed way off, just like, and just let it go totally. And, um, but during that time, I was just like, oh my God. <laughs> Please keep them safe. <laughs> totally. And at that point, like the first record was probably already out. Mm -mm. No, it wasn't even out yet. Mm -mm. And, and there was already some some level of confusion and outsiders coming in. It was out of control, dude. Like every what the fuck? every street sign in Huntington had a corn sticker on it. Oh my god! It was out of control. It was it was more off the hook than you know, the first two years after the record. Like their home, Huntington area, and it was yeah. every show. The insanity of that environment, um, you know. I I was like super super uh, straight edge and living on wheatgrass and sprouts. <laughs> yeah, I was that guy. Yeah, and somehow everything everything worked together. Yeah, and um. <clears throat> But um, we all, yeah. Anyway, that that was that. Yeah. Did you? So you probably did you feel like a? It was just like 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 a buzz, and like you just felt something. Like what is? Well, like what what's going on, or something's happening? It was. It didn't. It didn't match anything in the world. It was. It was too um, goth and femme. You know, Jonathan's yeah. flamboyancy and then the music was all dark and heavy. It was it was um not poppy, you know. It was Nirvana was out, Chili Peppers was out, like yeah. they they were really blowing up at the time. And um you know, when I remember when the album came out, the only thing they can compare John's voice to was Eddie Vedder. Oh yeah, <laughs> like what? Fucking weird. That's but see that's identity. You know, yeah. people need to attach. Absolutely. Something, but that that um, feeling was so intense coming off their their music and their performances was like it, it was so heavy in in an internal way that you couldn't deny it. It was. It was there. It was there. Yeah. Special and forever. Like, it'll never go away. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> what? I'm trying not, not to freak out. I mean, what, <laughs> what was it? Like, you were in those rooms. Like, you were in the mm. room when they were jamming, even before the first record. Like, what was that like? We literally... Fun. Outs outside, if you're outside that room, you have no idea. Like, what was that like? What was going Just on? Just fun. Hanging out. Yeah, fun. Yeah, good old times. Wow. Laughing, spitting sunflower seeds all <laughs> over the place. <laughs> um, um, you know, they had their own language. Yeah. You know, we all talk with, you know, inside jokes. You know, and yeah, and um, it was, it was just this unique experience that I don't think anybody, even them can't re re live you know it was so special it was really special 
goodness, because it was so much fun. Yeah. And then the lyrics, you know, everybody just believed in the lyrics so much. Like, like all the methods that I use, you know, today were just being just kind of naturally formed in how those guys were and how yeah what they would react to when we were together and and wow. um yeah <laughs> yeah so so like john would say something and then you'll be in like the room you guys would be like whoa yeah yeah it, it, the the lyrics were all dark and wild and revealing you know they yeah. were they were truly vulnerable in him when everybody else in the world were singing about you know some fantasy of some thing you know yeah hiding behind a, a, you know like a, this is what the title is but you're not going to know what it really means and you know no bands knew what most lyrics were about you yeah know? and wow everybody knew what every single sentence and syllable meant (laughs) and it came out through the players yeah as a as a pulsing one they were one you know i can't believe i got to be there for it and be part of it like it's yeah it changed my life and a lot of people's lives in such a good way in such a great way yeah and it's still going i can't believe it they work. They work hard. <laughs> it's no joke. Now, everything that you have and everything that all those guys have has been 100% absolutely earned through everything that... Oh, God. Yeah. You know. it, yeah, there's no um, shortcut. No. With that. Absolutely not. <laughs> and, and and you hear that and, and you see that. Yeah. Especially when... You know, I've been blessed and lucky enough to like, you know, meet you and those guys. And like, there's, there's no, it's no secret why you guys are who you are and where, and where you're at. Just mm. full, full on, 